class, we're here today and we're going to study weather and climate. And we have a smart board lesson, so it's kind of interactive. I'm going to bring some of you guys up. You're going to look at the slides. You maybe you have to do some writing, some clicking, things like that. So we're going to start off the day. It says, label the difference between cl climate and weather. Crosby. Yeah. Would you come and label me the differences between weather and climate? What do you think? It's a two brain. Forgot weather's on there. Go ahead. Just name a couple of words that go with those. Meaning of the words. Between the two. Mm. I was asleep. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. You just it. I'm sorry. If you had to take a guess, what would you say? Just, uh, just write down some words that go climate and then weather. Weather. Mr. Crosby, can you come back up here, please? Uh, you since you're the only student who wants to volunteer today, can you <laughs> list the four cycles of the, uh, the four processes of the water cycle? is rotating through the year, allowing direct sunlight to fall on the different areas at different times. Is this true or false, class? True. True. Yes. <laughs> Alright, can anybody tell me what topography is? No? Elevation. <laughs> A word. The features or surfaces con configuration of an area or region. That's what so, I said. <laughs> it's kind of like map, map reading. Earth axis. Says the line which the earth is rotating or the body turns. So here's the, the earth. The axis is going to be here. Electromagnetic radiation, including the ultraviolet images from the sun. Don't stay on the sun too long, do we? What happens then, Mr. Crosby? Stay on the sun. Uh, will it be cancer? It's possible. Plate movement, the large scale motion of Earth's rigid outermost layer. Northern hemisphere. Which, where do we live, Crosby? The northern hemisphere. Good job. Northwestern. And the western hemisphere. And the western hemisphere. So the northwestern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Ocean currents. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Put this on your notes. Weather and climate. Weather and climate describe two different things. The difference is a measure of, of time. Weather describes a mix of events that occur each day. Climate is more of an average of the things that happen throughout the years. Would this be climate or weather? What, do you, what would you consider this? Weather. 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 Good. I wish it was raining out there right now. Yeah. I don't like rain. I wish it was snowing. No snow. The Earth's axis tilts. Weather and climate involves the transfer of solar radiation. Can you tell me what that is, Mr. Crosby? I have no idea. Okay, let me tell you. We have the sun. A pretty sun. Then we have the earth. And it's 
its energy comes down onto the earth. And the earth absorbs that energy. Water. Is it like a sponge? Kind of, yes. Water is more likely to absorb energy than land is. So when you see these currents, you can see the ocean's current here. Traces along through here. And when that happens, uh, since the ocean's filled with so much energy from the sun that it absorbs, it's going to change the weather as the ocean moves. So as the sun heats water in oceans and seas, turning water molecules into vapor, which then rises into the air. The process is called evaporation. The water vapor evaporates into the atmosphere where cooler temperatures cause it to condense, condense into clouds. Air currents move the clouds around the globe where they collide, grow, then fall back down to Earth's surface in the form of rain or snow. This process is called precipitation. Water is then collected in the river, seas, and oceans where it's heated once more, turning into water vapor. So this is the water cycle, Mr. Crosby, like we talked about earlier. Collected so, is part of the water cycle? Yep. Yeah. So we have these four terms here. If I had you get a, a diagram, could you put, put these four together now? Uh, maybe three or four. Okay, one. Come on up. But it's already done for me. No, it's not. Sure. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Come over here, Mr. Crosby. Let me erase this for you. Give you a nice little screen to work with. He's one for one. Well done. Yes. Class, give him a hand. Okay, think about the different examples you gave of weather and climate in the before you in the before you read section. After you're reading the passage from your list again, write down your responses in the space below. So what's the difference between weather and climate, Mr. Crosby? Uh, climate has to do with the region. Weather can be uh, rainfall or uh, any other occurrence in the sky. So we're saying that weather is a short period happening, right? Yes, and climate is long period. Okay, long. Does it take weather to get climate? You have to have weather to have climate? No. You don't think so? Well, maybe. How would we know what our climate was if we didn't have uh, weather? But we'll go on to the next one. Not the next one. It says, weather describes a mix of events that occurs each day in our atmosphere. These events include light, rainfall, and humidity. Mr. Crosby, could you come drag this on the appropriate answer? Which one? Number A. Good. The sun's heat. The sun heats water in oceans and seas, turning water molecules into which into blank, which then rises into the air. No, there's only three of them, but I'm using them when I read this question. Plate movement over millions of years have changed global land and ocean areas and created topography. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Don't go anywhere. We've got three more questions. Why do you keep picking on me, Mr. Blizzard? Because you're such an awesome student. 
Horizontal and vertical circulation systems of ocean water produces by, produced by gravity, wind friction, and water density variation would be. Okay, the large scale motion of Earth's rigid outermost shell. So why don't you go ahead and read to the class what solar radiation is? Electromagnetic radiation, including X rays, ultraviolet, and infrared radiation, and radio emissions, as well as visible light emanating from the sun. Good job. Okay, now we have these regions and we have these types of climate. Take the pen and I would like you to connect which region goes with which climate. Right, class? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, he is correct. All right, let's review real quick. How does change in Earth's orbit influence long-term climate? Is it A, it affects the amount of amount and distribution of solar energy received by the Earth? It affects the movement of tectonic plates. It affects the amount of days in the year. Control A and B. E, A. We have all these answers. Which one is it? It's going to be one of these. E. D. D. All right, out of, the, out of the five, which three would be considered examples of weather? A. C. D. B. C. D. B. C. D. That'll be all, class.